congratulations on your opening win here tonight. Uh, initial thoughts, uh, offense rolling up close to 600 yards, uh, but defense gave up probably more than you wanted. So how do you initially evaluate the evening? Uh, well, you know, initial evaluation is great because we got the W, and that was the thing that uh, we were concerned with most. Uh, uh, there are some concerns with uh, the way we played um, the run, uh, the, the beginning of the game. I think their speed really, really hurt us at first. Our guys finally calmed down and, and, and got situated and responded well to it the second half. But uh, excited the way we ran the ball um, for the whole game. Our guys up front did an unbelievable job, and uh, and so that's that's good to see. And, and but we do have areas to improve on. Tell me about Jeremy Calhoun when he jumped over his guy yeah. to score. What, what did you see from the sideline when that happened? Well, any any time you have a, an unbelievable play like that, it really ignites the sideline and just kind of hearing the guys erupt. And so that really put the momentum on our side. And so I thought that helped us a lot. And it was great to see you know Jeremy have a great game and and you know play to to what we all expected him to be. Quarterbacks, each of them protected the ball. They each found their receivers. I would imagine you're pleased with both of the two. And how hard does that make it moving forward now? Well, you know, we're very pleased with the way they performed tonight. I thought uh, Warren Truesdale um, had one inadvertent pass he shouldn't have thrown uh, in the end zone. But uh, um, I, I thought both of them performed well. Both of them ran the ball. Uh, Led the offense down the field, did a great job, and you know you could see that you know it didn't matter which quarterback we had, our offense still did a great job, and so we'll evaluate the film and and to kind of determine the, what route we're going to take for this week's game. Can you elaborate on the concerns uh, with the kicking game on the, the missed field goals in the first quarter? Well, you know that's we got two brand new guys that are um, are trying to earn that duty, and I thought that they just kind of. One, I think in both instances the snaps were low, and I think our guys rushed it a little bit. But uh, as the night went on, I thought we got a lot better. They calmed down. Um, that's come to ex you know be expected with some young guys when we uh, first start kicking. But uh, I thought towards the end of the game they were doing a great job, and so we'll uh, continue to evaluate that position as well. How do you feel your defense played, being a turnover, but also at times giving up the big play? Where do you see well, you know, obviously we don't want to give up the big play, but we were excited about the turnover. That's what we kind of talk about um, is creating turnovers and getting the ball back to our offense. Um, so uh, we'll have to reevaluate, not really reevaluate, but evaluate where we went wrong, what breakdowns, uh, breakdowns we that occurred, and uh, see what adjustments we need to make before Pueblo. Rush Seaver was one of your leading tacklers a year ago. He was a leading tackler today. Do you expect Rush Seaver to be – your leading tackler uh, most of the time is he that kind of player? Oh, uh, you have enough around him that it may not always be him. Well, I think we got enough around him that it, it shouldn't always be that way. But you know, Rush has a nose for the football. He's he's got great instincts, and so that's one of the you know, reasons that he does so well. And he's one of our top tacklers. And so, hopefully, we can kind of can build build on his success, get some other guys more involved, and um, have you know just shore up our defense. Will there be any concern on, about keeping the players from being overhyped going into AT&T Stadium, or do you want them to, to have a little extra edge going into something like that? Uh, you, you always want worry about that going into to Cowboys Stadium, um, how excited they'll be to play there. But uh, well, I think our, us as coaches will do a good job kind of controlling that. Um, you know, They understand that the game's the most important thing, and it's not where we're playing. It's who we're playing, and so we'll go in with that mindset, and uh, hopefully we'll be successful next Saturday. Uh, Jeremy, tell me how much, uh, how good it feels. First off, just to get the win for the team here tonight. Oh, it, it felt pretty good. You know, uh, we've been banging each other out through two days. You know, we've been, we couldn't wait to get out here and play against another team, and getting this W mean a lot to us. Tell us about uh, what everybody's going to be talking about when they watch the game tape. Your highlight jump and <laughs> touchdown play. Where did that come from? I don't know. You know, I, I I can't really tell you. You know, it was just instinct. You know, he went low, I went high. So hey, got in. So is that a, a sign for the rest of us that your ankle is fully healed from last year's? Race? Yeah, it is. You know, I, I spent a lot of time this offseason rehabbing. You know, my knees, my ankles. You know, my lower body mostly, 
and uh, I feel like this is strong as it's ever been. Talk about the offensive line, the running backs and the quarterbacks were asked for an extreme amount of a lot of yards. And what did you see from the offensive line that made you be able to rush for the yards? Um, they just good guys, really. You know. They tell us every day, hey, we're going to get you where you need to be. You know, uh, I give all thanks to my line. You know, uh, without them, we, we wouldn't be able to do the things we did today. And uh, I think the fellas know that, you know, the running backs love them right now. So we might give them some stakes after this. <laughs> <laughs> Is it their experience you think that helps? They, they know exactly what they're doing with each other? Yeah, you know, uh, we all came in, most of the dudes on the offense line, we all came in together. You know, the uh, last season, you know, it was our first year together. You know, the experience was a little, a little off, but this year I think we all clicking in each syllable. What was the difference in the offense tonight? Mixing run and pass than it was last year. Um, I really believe uh, consistency. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Coach A stretched that a lot uh, to us and stuff. And uh, I feel like just moving the ball, you know, the quarterback did a great job getting us, you know, set up, hurry up offense, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what took advantage of the uh, defense. People are going to talk about playing the multiple quarterbacks, but what about running backs? Do you see the benefit of you and Blake splitting series and plays like that to keep oh, you healthy later? You know, me and him, we were really good friends. You know, we tell each other, hey, you want this series? Or, you know what I'm saying? Because we both know we can go out there and do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and Blake, you know, it's, it's no problem sharing the ball because we know both of us can get the job done. And the quarterback situation, you know, both of them, is they in the same boat as the running back. I feel like no matter who starts, we still going to get where we need to be. Will there be any anything in your mind when you're working out this week, getting ready, knowing that it's AT and T Stadium? Will there be extra focus, or do you have to kind of guard to getting overhyped for something like that? Uh, we gonna focus more. You know, it's gonna be a big crowd. You know, it's gonna be on a big stage, and um, you know, we are gonna practice hard, and we are gonna give Pueblo all we got.